Hey guys, and tonight we're going to be continuing celebrating Mario Day. Yep, I know, I'm late. It's been a, it's been a day, two days by the time you're watching this. So, yeah, I might not feel the same, but I wasn't quite done last night. And yeah, I'm likely to do a playthrough of this. This will probably be like one of the first non-RPGs I play. Not sure if Mario Odyssey is an RPG or not. So, interestingly enough, two ways that you can go. Actually, now nah, let's not waste time. Just make things simple. Sorry. So, one way you can go, like, so the normal way you end up just progressing, but if you find the secret exit, You'll end up coming to another area. So, uh, yeah. Where are we going to be going on? Mr. Luigi, you. Before we go. Yep, that's something better about this game than the original. Actually, choose your character. Yep, that's right. You want to how. In case you haven't played the in case you're new to the game, most likely not, but I'll do it anyway. So yeah, somebody's wondering how to play as Blue Toad. Well, press L. Or even ZL. But the bad thing about this is if you want to play four players, one of the characters is gonna have to be an easy mode character. This is the spin-off. This one's more of like a um honorable mention. But uh, yeah, this is news for Luigi U. Probably surprised to find out. Probably surprised to see this on Mario Day, or at least in my video related to Mario. Well, yep. So, this is it. Don't hit the red box. 
See? Now look. No longer slippery. Can't jump high anymore. So. You might not want to hit that. That's me. Give it. So, yeah. On to the next game. 3D. Now, I, I played this game growing up. Yep, when I was a kid, just like, one of my first games on me. Yep, so the cursor. It's a cursor when you don't have touch control. So this is the first, yeah, so this is what introduced furries into Mario. Just furry Mario character. Okay, maybe I shouldn't listen. And yes, I'll be better than this if I do a playthrough.
Yes, just follow the coins and see where it leads. Ooh, you get up. Where's that sign? Boom, flag turns gold somehow. Yeah, I don't have that much time to do a detail. Then there's Bowser's Fury. Okay, it's going to seem out of order. That's fine. Just because it's within this game. Fury, as you can tell, the world. Yep, that's right, an open world Mario game. I'm not sure I can have multiple save files of that. But, uh, yeah. Um. So. This is what I was going to do originally. But I decided to do a short. <laughs> yep, here. You know, it's like a default course of games gives you. Exclusive. Some of them returned from the first game. Just didn't. Well, make a separate video on this. Yeah, you might be wondering what I've what I have been. Well. Yeah, it's actually. Oh wow, I haven't made, I haven't uploaded a course in a year. Well, to any of you who played my levels in Super Mario Maker Two, well, that's me. Thank you. That's actually me. See. So to all the people who played my courses before, yes, yeah, so anyone who likes me so plays the game. Let me start the video. Oh. Like it's right. Well, that applies for anyone, but in case anyone knew about me and Mario Maker, yes, I do play other Mario games. This was literally my first course in my entire game. I know. I had no idea. I had no idea what to make at the time. Uh. 
escape the sewers the first course I uploaded. Then this one got pretty popular. Known as Mario in Space. Yeah, the course was like not really finished. Because, uh, yeah. Um, so there's obviously the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth. Oh no, there's a key. Let's have a mushroom over dude. So then you have to press the on slash off switch. And now you're on Mars. Yep, that's Jupiter. I I know. It, it it should be bigger. But it's not. Yeah, it's like the great red spot. <laughs> this is something based on my own science. strong Jupiter's gravity was. Yeah, in a remastered version of, of this level, I'd make it Venus instead. Yep, so here's Saturn. It has its rings. We could. This is Neptune. Yep. This is Saturn. And this is, um... The seventh planet. I know what it is. I just don't want to say it. Neptune. And Pluto. Yeah, like, did work pretty hard on that course, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, these were the days. You know what hit. Before the virus hit. That's right. Look at this. This is literally supposed to just be for a thumbnail. Yeah, it's acting so strange because look. You literally walk on the thumbnail. What is not more strange about that?
Originally, I was going to make a part four, but... There's only so much you can do to celebrate one day. When it's literally past that day. Uh, oh, yeah. Um... Oh, yeah, this is based on... <sighs> I can't believe I made this, but this is based on... Brady Ralph. Ralph Rips the Ancient. Okay. Um... Oh, yeah. I think the YouTuber's name is like Smash. Yeah, he'd make these Mythbusters videos. Just your tickets to the movie. Yeah, this is based on the popular Mario Goes to the Cinema course. Except instead of watching the movie, because I had no idea how to implement that in. So instead, I decided to make it so that you're the character in the movie. Basically, the story is that if you die, your character is either Mario, Luigi, Toad, or Toadette, they'd be watching the movie. So, if the character dies, so if Link dies, then that means if your character got bored of the movie. That's how I interpreted it when I was younger. Yeah, I just, I lured it. Everything. Big bite. Yeah, you'll know why it's snowy. Hmm, huh, can Huh. This one was Hold on, I'll bring it up in the subtitles. Oh, no, no. Yep, that was confirmed. Well, this one. Oh, I guess I can do two myths here. Okay, okay. Well, I just lost the whole movie. Success. And... Look. I have no idea. Now here is now here's a level that aged terribly.
New Year's 2020. This is Mario's light. See? You can't just skip through it. Oh yeah. I forgot. The comments have to be on. First, you glide. Then, you have to run. And, you know, activate the parachute. Then you have to make a skydive. Now, you know, you can actually just use your flying scales and all. <laughs> this was originally a course to get me to test out um, flying. So, yep, I decided to just release it so on here so that other people who didn't know how to fly were able to do it. See? That was the whole purpose of it. The Bowser was giant. Why don't I just start the spawn wall? Then Mario couldn't have done the whole flying thing. Mario goes to breakfast. <laughs> this game is based on um, how I'd go up for breakfast when I was a kid every um, second Sunday. But uh, the reason why Mario um, got fat and there's an all-star effect because uh, it's based on it's based on the level Mario goes to McDonald's. <laughs> so you can just basically steal. Yeah, I can just pretty much steal everyone's food. Okay, this thing makes it thanks your <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you're just basically eating everyone else's pancake. Then you have to pay the bill, which is weird because 
because the boy is just paying you instead. Yeah. I also made this course in Mario Maker 1, except it was just going to the restaurant, and that was it. I didn't include this story arc. Didn't include the gym. Part. But yeah, you see what I mean? We saw Mario with McDonald. And, well, didn't get hit by the Koopa, then, you know what happened. I still have to take damage either way. So if you're small Mario, well, you're out of luck. Indeed. What could go wrong? I know. This course is probably not even that good. Yeah, that's what I made back in the day. Apparently. Yep, claw machine. Basically, you have to do that until you get all the way down to the boss fight. Well, here's one. Parkour level. Me and my best friend worked on this. He's actually a YouTuber named Exotic Claw. It's called Parkour Level. It's pretty hard. And watch out. Not only are you, are you pressured to parkour, but there's also lots of flops. See how hard it is? And yeah, it's mostly like my friend's idea. Yeah, Exotic Claw's idea. So I'm basically the um, co creator of this level. Like, see, like, not even I can be it. Originally, this was going to be a lot harder, but, but then I complained about it being too hard, and I thought that if not even I could beat it, since, like, I'm, since I'm, like, the, um, co-creator, I mean, no, he was more of a director. And since I was like, actually, I would have both for it. Since I was like the co creator, thought that if not even I can beat it, since I was a co creator, then, then how can anyone else beat it? Even though that's most likely not true, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, and. Oh, never mind. There was two. I probably added that in there. But yeah, just know that. This was originally intended to be a lot harder. 
But I complain that as a co-creator, if not even I can beat it, then how can anyone else beat it? Wow, feel old. This level was made like two years ago. Swamp, it's so easy to get rid of. Yeah, I just know that. Remember, this level could have been impossible. It's one for me complaining. Yeah, you probably don't want to see this over and over again. Right? You're probably getting bored. Well... Yeah. Well, either way, question is, can you beat it? Yes, very interesting. Showcase mode. Well, I don't know what else to, uh, do wow he was pretty long anyways make sure to like and subscribe until next time bye